Hello and welcome back for another episode in the Whiskey Snobs Week of Whiskey Special. Um, this week I am being supported and assisted by African and Eastern uh, to, to, to celebrate Whiskey Week. It's I've basically done it so it coincides with International Whiskey Day on March 27th. Um, I'll be showcasing a bunch of whiskies all week and um, stuff that maybe you haven't tried before, stuff that maybe you have tried before. Um, what we're doing with Africa and Eastern in Dubai is that you can walk into any of their, well not any of their, to um, selected retail outlets and you will get special offers on uh, some of these whiskies that we're showcasing and maybe make some others as well. Right, I'm going to jump straight in. Um, Talisker Storm. This is, um, it was actually a, quite a... When this sort of came out, I was a little bit disappointed because I was a fan of Talisker 10. So Talisker 10 has been a staple for many a year. It's a staple for many a people. I mean, a lot of people who drink whiskey have tried Talisker or enjoy it, enjoyed the Talisker 10. It was their, you know, it was their entry level um, standard whiskey release. And you would usually find it in most bars. It was sort of... Uh, introduction, so to speak, to to going towards a peated whiskey or to uh, you know, an, an island whiskey. So Talisker is the only, only distillery on the Isle of Skye. Um, historically, their liquid is quite, um, quite briny, quite salty, um, which is evident even in this. Um, I've had this on a number of occasions. And um, it's... Uh, it doesn't disappoint, to be honest. What I did like about this is it was actually a lot smokier and more pe he more peated than, I'm not saying heavily peated, but definitely the peatiest release from, um, from uh, Talisker. Um, so not to waste too much time, I'm just going to jump straight in for you. On the nose, like I said, that initial sort of saltiness that brine comes straight through but it's not as much as you used to get on the on the old 10 <sighs> some sweet richness you can tell that it's been it's had some time maybe in some sherry casks um, you get lots of tropical fruit some banana <sighs> some rich sort of like candied pineapple but again that saltiness is always sort of like salted caramel it's just sitting there which is quite nice actually so I'm just going to go ahead and give this a little sip cheers mmm very nice the one thing I do like about this storm is that it's actually quite thick and creamy it's a whiskey that you can really chew and get your teeth stuck into. It's once that creaminess sort of dissipates, you're left with this sort of like barbecue ash taste in your mouth. But it's very light. It's almost like you've um, dropped a piece of meat and the barbecue you just pulled it out and put it in your mouth. And it's just. Mm. There's a little bit of pepper, like red pepper, right on the end. The finish is actually quite nice. Gives some sourness to the, to the edge of the palate. Um, and it lingers. It's actually quite a warming finish, which is something that I enjoy in a whiskey. Mm. But it does dry out. You can definitely tell that there's been, there's been some influence of, uh, of sherry or some red wine. It does dry out the, um, the palate a little bit. Really, really nice. Definitely, I recommend that you guys go out and, and get your hands on some of this um, for World well, International Whiskey Day on March 27th. Or if you want to enjoy whiskey this whole week with me, Whiskey Snobs World Week of Whiskey, I uh, I urge you to go and get get some. Thanks always for watching. I'm Tolga, the Whiskey Snob, and see you soon. Cheers. <laughs>